Sally wants to lift a 105 kilogram rock off the ground with a 3 meter bar. She positions the bar on a fulcrum, which is actually a tree log, 1 meter away from the rock, and wedges it under the rock at an angle of 45 degrees with the ground. She exerts a force of 612 newtons perpendicular to the ground. How far away from the fulcrum should the force be applied to move the rock? So we have to draw a sketch here. Okay, the, the geometry is a teeny bit tricky, but not too bad. Here's our fulcrum, or the tree log. Here's the rock we're trying to move, and the force on the rock is gravity pulling it straight down. Fortunately for us, Sally, or at least for the problem, is pushing perpendicular to the ground just like this. So when we try and find the angles for the torque, we're always measuring the angle between the force applied here and a line that is perpendicular which actually is this line here, to the, to the line connecting us to the axis of rotation, which is here. So we want to measure the angle to here, and then on this side, we want to measure the angle to here from the force. So this is the angle we're interested in using in our sum of the torques equation. We know that this is 45 degrees, then since this is a right angle, this is 45 degrees, and then this is another right angle, this is 45 degrees. The same here. So when we go to our sum of the torques equals zero, we have Sally trying to move in a counterclockwise direction, so that's a positive torque. The rock is trying to move it in a clockwise direction, that's a negative torque. And then we just substitute in the force here that Sally's exerting, the sine of the angle, 45, and then the mass times g of the rock, because that's its force, and look at this, we get sine 45 again. So we can cancel that out, and then we get the distance that Sally should be from the fulcrum, her force, is the distance to the rock, the mass of the rock, times g, divided by Sally's force, and we get an answer, she should be 1.7 meters away.